hey pretty girl club so today's video i wanted to talk about this whole so if you're my complexion or the same color as a brown paper bag caramel complected light brown people are quick to be like you're not even that light skin it's like if you're not white passing you're not considered light skin i got that the other day in one of my videos somebody made a comment and was like your baby pictures aren't even light skin I was lighter than I am now in my baby pictures. Um, I'm almost, my tan's almost gone. Uh, I've been working on getting rid of it and it's almost there. <laughs> so um, I was lighter in my pictures, my baby pictures, and I was, I'm, I'm confused. People still think, I guess, light skin, it means like if you're not like a white person's color, like if you're not white passing, you're not light skin, and that's really not true light skin is not a monolith we come in different shades of brown skin light or dark spectrum there's a spectrum so it's like you're either on the lighter end of the spectrum or you're on the darker end of the spectrum but all minority groups with melanin in their skin are some sort of brown skin so that's really kind of just like a, a cop out like a cop out to get yours to get from either calling yourself light skin or dark skin if you're trying to get yourself from calling yourself light skin it's a humbling tactic on yourself and other people doing it for you and if you're on the darkest skin of the spectrum i've usually seen it in cases where people just don't want to be because apparently calling yourself dark skin is like an insult it's like disrespectful and stuff people really take it the wrong way if you call somebody dark skin like if you say somebody's dark skin apparently you're colorist and they get offended and stuff is is very weird because if i was dark skin if i was naturally dark skin as much of a beauty and enhancement girly that i am i notice dark skin people's skin reflects beautifully off the sun i'd probably go in the sun more if i was darker skin because i don't know yes i think darker darker complected skin does something different when the sun hits it versus lighter skin in my opinion, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I've noticed that their skin glisses in the sun. My skin glisses too, but if I stay in the sun too long, I'm going to get that tan. And a tan line looks kind of grayish and dull. And you know how people like to crack jokes about the grayish looking exotical? You know what I'm saying? So I don't want that gray look or anything. I like my natural glow, like this glow right here. I've been taking my glutathione, so... I'm having my glow. I, I'm, I'm feeling it. And um, you guys, real quick, y'all. I don't know if y'all saw my community post the other day. Sorry, y'all. Got a cold. But so, for so many years, I would not hide my beauty from the world. I would suppress a lot of it from the world. Um, I, I, I dealt with a lot of light skin guilt growing up throughout my years, throughout my younger adult years. A lot of pretty privileged guilt, light skin guilt. So I would suppress a lot of myself, especially when I would go around unambiguous people like my family members and when we would go visit family. I naturally remember, remember me naturally suppressing my beauty when, before we would go around them, like I wouldn't put on makeup. I would put my clip, I wouldn't put my clip-ins in. You know, I would just, I would just go probably with a hat on or something. I would just go very much casual, but very much basic Betty around them. For years I would do this though. And I knew my potential. Even one of my gay friends in college had to pull me aside one day and was like, girl, why do you always why don't you show your body more? You got a nice body. He, he was like, why don't you wear shorts more? You got some nice legs. Because I would always wear like leggings or jeans. Like I would cover my legs. Because I do have nice legs. For somebody who doesn't do leg workouts a lot, I do have nice calves. I will say that much. Um, I get a lot of compliments on my legs. People think I'm a runner and I'm not. But I don't deserve the body I have. Let's just say that. But... So I'm blessed in that way. And I don't, for years, I wasn't showing it. I wasn't showing it. And 
you know what I mean? I'm at this point in my life where it's like I'm done hiding my beauty because I'm it's not because why am I doing that though? It's more of a humbling thing that I'm doing on myself so I, people don't think I'm stuck up or bougie when I really think about it. And I don't want to hide anymore. I don't want to hide my beauty anymore. I don't. I've been doing it for so long. And I don't know if this anonymous thing is part of me just still trying to hide myself. I don't know. I know the internet is crazy and I have to be careful. But I Google searched my own images just to test it out and I couldn't even find myself. So I don't know how easy it is to actually find somebody. I don't know. I just got to be careful not to expose any information or anything. But I'm be, I'll am be comfortable showing my face if I reach 10k followers. If y'all could get me to 10k followers, I'll show my face. I'm kind of excited about it too because I want to start doing things. Like, like we were talking about it in the community tab about like, I'm going to start doing like tutorials and like makeup tutorials and stuff i guess it's gonna be kind of fun actually i might just go ahead and do it because i've been hiding my beauty for so long and i don't and i don't want to do that anymore like fuck the internet fuck the internet for real <laughs> you know what i mean i just gotta be careful not to put any information out you know if people that know me in real life say something they know me in real life so and they know what kind of a person I am. They know I'm not a liar. So I'm not really worried about people in my real life finding me. <laughs> I'm exactly going to be a low-key flex because it's like a lot of people were low-key hating on me for years. But we're not going to get into that on this one. But yeah, back to the topic. Um, so if you are light brown skin, caramel complected, Y'all know our skin fluctuates throughout the year and stuff. It does change. Like, I'm going to get lighter and lighter over the next couple of months. Um, I'm going to stop lightening once um, my even is just coming back. And it's almost there. And then, you know, from there, it's just my skin tone is going to be back for the year. So all these people that are trying to talk shit about us bleaching and stuff, no Bleaching is a lifestyle. If you want to completely change your complexion, you're going to have to do this for the rest of your life. I'm only doing this for like the next 90 days or so because I'm already light-skinned. So y'all cannot have that one. I'm sorry. We're already naturally light-skinned. We're getting rid of our tans because it looks great on us. Y'all always talk shit about that. So y'all kind of already know that, right? I'm only doing this for another 60... How many? It's only been like 80... 70 days so far like it only takes it takes 90 days for your skin to shed a layer off and i think i only need a layer off my if you guys see my hand right here i don't know if you guys can even see right there i'm peeling so i'm getting rid of the layer right there so and after 90 days i'm done doing this method I made that ebook for people who want to get rid of their tans and for people who actually want to make this their lifestyle and change their complexion because as I said multiple times the light the skin bleaching industry the skin lightening industry is a billion multi-billion dollar industry so people are doing it anyway there's dangerous ways to do it and then there's healthier ways to do it I'm teaching people how to do it the healthier way so Y'all can miss me with all this bleach article stuff because it's not even real. It's just another silencing tactic to get us to stop talking, to get us to humble. Whatever y'all trying to do, it doesn't work over here. Yeah, that's not going to work over here in this space. We've already set Fenty Shade 390 and below as the, I guess, the lightest, the darkest shade of light skin you could be in this space. And anything 390 below is considered dark skin. Because we're all brown skin. It's just, are you on the lighter end or are you on the, on the darker end? And we're making the comparison just because when we're in conversation, um, it's understandable who's li considered light skin when I'm talking, when we're talking about it. Uh, whenever I mention a light skin person, you have an idea of your head who's the darkest light skin you could go. And it's kind of funny to me how us women have to go so hard to defend our light skinness when the men are easily caught light skin who 
or Fenty Shade 390. They're never questioned. Um, Pooch Hall is considered light skin. I think he's around Fenty Shade 3, what, 53? He's probably two, a shade or two darker than I am. Um, Pooch Hall, y'all yeah, know Pooch Hall. But if he was a female, questionable, right? It's a, People are so quick to humble light-skinned females. And I've been saying this for the last couple of videos. Black passing, light-skinned exoticals get hated on the most. We get the most hate. We get the most gaslighting, the most gatekeeping. <laughs> People are quick to be like, you're not even that light-skinned. Why are you? You only get to talk about these things. I, the hierarchy mindset of it all. Like, I'm so over it. And I was so tired of the light skin guilt. I used to be a light skin savior. I used to watch Chrissy's channel, um, Rashida's channel, all of their channels. Paris Milan, I Am Aloha, before Exotical Space came out. I couldn't relate to none of it. I even tried to make my own channel. But I wanted to incorporate the other experience, the light skin experience. And that's where I fucked up on my page. That's why my page went left. Because how dare you talk about light skin problems? This is colorism. This is only about dark-skinned people. We're the only one who can complain about things. We're the only ones who are going through it. We're the only ones being bullied out here. I was like, okay. And then I even found Exoticals United in the nick of time of all of that. So, we're all not crazy. We all go through the same experiences, pretty much. Even if you're a dark-skinned Exotical, you're going through the same experiences as us, as you know, the biracials, multiracials, monoracial light skins. We're all going through the same experiences. And they try to quick humble us and be like, oh, you're still black, though. So don't get mad when we get those roles that y'all keep saying we're taking. Holly Bailey, the color purple ring a bell. Why was it a problem for her to play that role in the color purple? She's black. She's just another black girl, right? She's not. Why? How is she taking roles? The first Black Little Mermaid. Everybody was so excited. Even though some people were saying, like, even though she's the first Black Little Mermaid, she's still not unambiguous enough. But then she's just a regular Black girl when it's convenient for y'all. Make it make sense. You guys see how we get thrown in and out all the time? Especially if you're that... If you're the phenotype, if you have a... Am ambiguous phenotype and you're a black person like i'm fully black so you know i'm gonna get my dna test results soon i know i have native my grandmother was native american um so we're gonna see what my dna knows how much of what i have in me but what i do know is that i have two black parents but i came out looking different i just did Tyra Banks is another example of a monoracial exotical who just came out with her recessive genes, I guess that's what you call it, right? Because um, darker and uh, Afrocentric features are more dominant. But I think everybody in my family pretty much has smaller features like myself, but still of a darker hue. I'm probably one of the lighter cousin out of all of my cousins because i have a whole bunch of cousins i am like the second lightest one i think so you're the same color i don't know but anyway we are all brown skin god made black people we're not a monolith black people are not a monolith we come in all different shades um light dark skin but we're all brown skin. We're just, what shade of brown skin are you? Light or dark? Because that definitely de determines your experience here in America, unfortunately. And that's where I'm, I don't know about any other countries, but in America, apparently there's this thing called light skin privilege that we benefit from so much. So, but when it's convenient, you know, we get thrown in and out of blackness all the time when it's convenient. You know what I'm saying? If we're running for president or something, we'll be black. But if we take these roles that are supposed to be reserved for people darker and more and unambiguous than us, then it's a problem. So where do we fit in, really? You know what I mean? And that's why I'm so glad we have this space, because 
this is where we can fit in. I've for years I've never felt like I fit in anywhere. Even when I would try to fit in in certain spaces, when I would join certain clubs, even my sorority, I mean, we're all exotical, but we didn't talk about exotical things. I think us talking about this exoticals are are is are like being able to relate to something is what's helping us bond as sisters. Like I feel like I have more of a sisterhood with y'all than my own sorority sisters, you feel me? That's all I'm really trying to say. I feel like I never really had much in common with them. Um, I don't know. But I'm just glad I found you guys. I really am. So if y'all can help me get to 10K, I'll surprise you guys. Because I'm actually I'm actually excited to do that. Um, it's not something all of the exoticals have to do. This is totally my choice totally my choice i might regret this in the future but you know what i'm just tired of hiding myself like i look like y'all like i look too good to be hiding my face for real for real for real so i'm just ready to stun on these hoes i'm tired of them talking shit about us they've been getting away with talking about us too long and we got the we got the upper hand right now like our niche is growing very quick so if y'all can get me to 10k hey why not i just gotta be careful that's all you know what i feel you feel me <laughs> i mean at this point they can't talk shit what else could they possibly say about us now I, once i show my face what could they possibly say i mean for real so they want to know what we look like so bad right so let's show i'm gonna i'm gonna show them Y'all don't have to do this at all. I could be the only one. I don't care. But I'm I'm doing this for my own personal reasons. Because I'm just tired of hiding my beauty. Because it hasn't benefited me at all to hide my beauty. If anything, I let these people get what they want. And I don't know. I think the world just needs to see another pretty face. So I'm just ready to... I'm just ready to start. All right, y'all, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for listening.